guys welcome back to my channel um i'm currently driving because i don't have time to stop i'm running a little well actually i should be at work right on time but I, i'm i was running a little behind because i was making my lunch and it just seemed like it was taking forever to make a salad but anyway i'm working a 16 hour shift today it's saturday and um i'm going to basically doing this thing um, where I rate my shift so at the end of my shift I'm gonna rate my shift from 1 through 10 10 being the shift was great we were fully staffed um, I didn't have no trouble or problems one being it was just absolute hell so I'm gonna rate it at the end of my shift um so yeah I wanted to show y'all what I packed for lunch at the beginning but I it's like I was just running behind this morning it's running late um but i'll show y'all when i eat it if i can remember but yeah so i will see y'all sometime when i'm at work so right here i'm taking my first break this was around 11 o'clock taking my first lunch break So this was at 6 o'clock, I think, or 6.15. I'm taking my lunch dinner break for second shift. I got uh, a meal from the kitchen. Some macaroni and cheese, greens, cornbread, and I think it's hamburger steak. And I got another plate to go because my work husband be hooking me up. He works in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I'm back home. Um, I would rate this shift... Um, an eight out of ten it was a really good shift um i only had 14 patients to give out medicine to because i was on the uh the rehab side and it's um a lot of empty beds but i know for a fact that will not last long like by monday is probably going to be 20 people over there because rehab you know people are in and out um but the it's the facility's goal to keep you know have as many people there as possible because the more patients that are there the more money the facility makes so i know by monday it's probably going to be three or four more people just there but it was nice today only having 14 patients that was very nice i feel like it should be like that all the time because i feel like when you're fully staffed you can actually take the time to really do your job right you know you're not having to rush all the time you could actually you know talk to the patients and ask them how they're doing hold conversations with them make them feel comfortable i know laugh with them joke with them because you're not you know it's, you don't have that feeling of okay i gotta go to the next person i gotta do this i gotta do that i gotta, I gotta go, go, go go you know what i'm saying but anyway it makes me feel like when it's like that i actually doing my job better but anyway um it was a good shift overall because like eight out of ten um I got me some fruit food from the kitchen. Um, so I didn't even eat my salad, but I could eat it tomorrow. Um, Cause I got one plate and then the cook, I call him my work husband. He works in the kitchen. He got me another plate to take home. Um, I'll probably eat that tomorrow. It was macaroni and cheese, uh, cornbread, collard greens, and some hamburger steak. I like everything but the hamburger steak. I wasn't going to tell him that. But I think the hamburger steak came out like a TV dinner or something. I'm pretty sure the way it tastes. I think it's like like a TV dinner. That's just the way it tastes. But everything else was good. Um, the macaroni and cheese, I think it was homemade. And the cornbread, I definitely was homemade. The cornbread was so good. It's like, it's sweet, but not too sweet. Like I, He did his thing with that cornbread um so what else do i want to say um tomorrow i'm going to be on the um long-term care side so i'm going to have way more than 14 people um so it'll be different um uh, i'm gonna tell y'all a little tea at my job right a little drama well not drama but so i heard that like there's like three CNAs that are no longer there. Y'all know I only work there every other Saturday, Sunday, and every Monday. So I'm not there all the time. Um, 
this one girl, CNA, she got, apparently, this is what I was told, she got fired because she was going out to the stores or whatever to get, you call it a, a vapor, a vapor, whatever, for two of the patients that live there, right? And one of the patients that got caught with it, um, they was questioning her about the vape, and she snitched on the CNA. So the CNA got fired. But I'm thinking, as a CNA, why would you do something like that? Why why would you risk your job like that? Like, that's so stupid. I guess she didn't think she would get caught. And apparently, um, someone had... There, there's this patient that is, was an alcoholic. She's very young. She's, like, in her late 30s. She had a stroke, um from alcohol poison i believe so um her right side she cannot use her right leg or her right arm she's completely alert and oriented she just as i am but she can't use her right arm or leg she was it she was an alcoholic she even some of her medicine is for that and i think she's got like some kind of um can i say that word on here some problems with uh medicine substance so someone said that one day when she went outside, um, somebody in the kitchen said they saw a man come from around the cor corner. She handed the man some money and the man handed her some white looking substance powder. So you know what that probably was. So therefore now, um, whenever she goes out and smokes, she has to be, a uh, supervised so that is so crazy and they said this other cna quit because of the maintenance man she said that the maintenance man gala was yelling at her and got all in her face and it's very disrespectful and if you ask him to do something like fix something he'd get an attitude which that's kind of crazy to me because the maintenance man that we have, I don't know. I don't see him much. Like, I, I don't see him during the week like that. So, I'm not there all the time. But from the interactions that I've had with him, he seemed like a nice guy to me. And it's like, why would she quit just because of the maintenance man? When, you would think she would go to the DON first or, you know, a supervisor and talk about the issue first. Like, that's crazy. A CNA quitting because of a maintenance man. Like, because they're not even in the same department, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I was told. I wasn't there. You know how people over-exaggerate stories and stuff, but that's what I was told. Um, but maybe, I don't know. He Like I said, the, the times that I've asked him to do something or talk to him, he seemed like a nice man. So it's, And the other scene is like, yeah, he's racist. He was nice to me, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say. He might be. I don't know. So it's starting there's they are starting to get kind of like short staff there was this other nurse that quit so she she's been there, she was working there for years and she was on day shift and they moved her to night shift without even asking her they changed her schedule so eventually she did the night shift even though they didn't you know she didn't want to she did it and then they was going to change her hours or something. I don't know. So she quit, which I don't blame her. Um, Like, she's a nurse. She can get a job anywhere. Like, I don't blame her for just quitting. It's kind of crazy, though, because her boyfriend... I don't know if that's her boyfriend or her husband. But she is the spouse of the night... The full-time night nurse. Um, So I hope he doesn't quit. Um, He's really nice. He always shows up on time. Sometimes he's there early. Um, I don't never, when I see that he's my relief, I never have to worry about, oh, is he going to show up? Like, he's very, he's very dependable, very, a very nice man. So, hopefully he doesn't quit because of his girl quit. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, what y'all think about this? So, one of the family members, the grandson of one of my patients had walked by me, right? And he was like, damn, you you want a fine motherfucker. And that threw me off. And I said, oh, uh, okay, thank you. And then can you believe he said, 
Well, that's the last time I give you a compliment. Now, maybe it's just me, but I feel like if you want to, a man, if a man is going to compliment a woman, can't you just say, oh, you look nice today or you look beautiful or whatever? Why are you calling me a motherfucker and you don't even know me? Now, I know people talk different. Some people, you know, talk different. But if you don't know me, why are you so comfortable talking to me like that? Like, you one fine motherfucker. Like, what? I guess he... Ooh. Cat. I guess he thought I should have felt flattered for him just saying that. It, th it threw me off. It threw me off. He could have just said, you're a nice looking woman. He could have just said that. But I don't know. What y'all think about that? If ladies... If a man walk past you and he, that you don't know, never met before, and he just said you one fine motherfucker, would you would you be flattered or would you be like uh, thrown off? Like I don't know, but anyway, I'm about to go upstairs and I will see y'all the next time.